Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to All Sex Talk, your channel of alternative sexuality. This is Master Taino. Today, we're going to talk about a very important thing, especially when you're trying to establish a power exchange relationship, call it master slave, daddy boy, uh, mommy girl, whatever uh, relationship you are planning to have. The baggage is very important. And what is the baggage? The baggage is what we carry with us from our life, is the sum of your life experiences. Everything that you have experienced in your life, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And sometimes it's difficult for us to share things that has happened to us. But it is important, especially in a relationship, because those things that happen to you will affect the way you behave, the way you react at something during the relationship, um, or could trigger some problems. So we need to share. That is important. And, and we all have to do this, uh, both the dominance, the masters, as well as the slave. There's a problem out there that some masters think that only the slaves should be open with their issues. No, this goes both ways. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that. So when you are about to start a relationship, you need to sit down and get that baggage out. You need to talk about that baggage with transparency, with honesty, with truthfulness. You get to sit down and have, probably it's not going to be one conversation. This could be several conversations in which you decide to tell the other person what kind of experiences you have had in your life. And what we're we talking about? Well, start with childhood. You could have childhood traumas. You could have childhood experiences. Um, it's a difference if you come from a loving, supporting family or if you come from an abusive family. If you have a father or a mother who abuse you physically or sexually, that will affect you a lot. If you have very loving, supportive family, that make a difference. If, for example, uh, if you're gay or lesbian or queer or non-binary, whatever, and you come out to your family and your family embrace you, that's a good experience and that will help you a lot. But if the opposite happens, that you come out uh, as gay or lesbian, transsexual, whatever, uh, and you are rejected, that will affect you in a very different way, in a negative way. And you have to deal with that. So th that's what is important. The same with kinky. If you already are kinky and you share that with your family, the reaction could make a big difference in your life. And, uh, and then you go to school. And for example, a lot of people are bullied in school. If you were bullied, that is a mark that you have. That is something that will affect anything then that you experience as an adult in your relationship that could resemble bullying, uh, it will trigger you. It will have a problem. It will have an issue. If you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, uh, somebody who sexually abused you during your high school years, that also had trust. If you have trust issues that you trusted people when you were young, and they fail that trust, that will affect you as well. So all those things are important to share. And then, if you are a little bit older and you already have relationship, what has happened in those relationships also will be, uh, will be important to your current relationship. If your partner, master, uh, was an abuser, that will take a lot because you will have more problem trusting that new master or dominant person in your life. Uh, and uh, if there was lack of communication, if there was any issues that you could have in a previous relationship, definitely is going to affect your current relationship or your new relationship. So that's why it's important to talk about it. How I learned this? With experience with realizing that every slave 
every boy who came into my life came with a baggage. And that baggage was affecting the way he behaved. And that baggage was affecting how he reacts to my ways, to the things that I wanted to achieve, to the things that I was telling him that to do. So that's why I know it is very important. I have lived it. And that's all I do in this in these videos, just share what life has taught me. So this is important. And, and the main issue that most people have with the baggage is shame. Shame and fear of judgment. Oh, if I share this, it's going to be shameful for me. Or how I'm going to be judged. Or people are going to reject me. And you know, transparency is important. And, and, and also, in, in the beginning of a relationship, if you are transparent, if you are honest, if you share uh, your uh, uh, issues, the, your experiences, uh, it also could be key for both of you to know if the relationship has a potential. Because if somebody has, for example, a history of some mental health issues particularly, well, nobody is equipped to deal with different type of mental issues. So one of the other could say, you know, I, you're a great person, but I don't think in a relationship I could deal with that situation. I, I, I am equipped uh, to deal with that real, uh, situation. Or sometimes we have had previous experiences that doesn't allow us to welcome another possibility. And, and that happened to me. I lost a slave back in 2001. Uh, to AIDS. It was a young man who died of AIDS. And shortly after uh, he died, I have a request from another young man who had also AIDS, who wanted to be my slave. And I have to be honest with him and say, you know, I don't have any problem with AIDS, but I cannot, In the, I just lost a slave. And that was a very powerful uh, experience for me. I'm not ready to position myself in repeating that shortly after. Now I could, 20 years later, sure. I don't have any problem facing death of somebody else. I have lost another slave even years after that by an accident, not by uh, illness. But So we could be in that situation that we just have an experience that doesn't allow us to put ourselves in the possibility of having a similar experience again. Uh, and something that I want to address, particularly to the submissive, to the slave, you got to be aware, because a lot of dominant want to know everything, and they have that right. They could ask you, and you have to, you should be transparent and honest. But then the same dominant don't want to share their shit. They don't want to share their experiences. So you, as a slave or as a submissive you have the right to ask a potential dominant about their experiences, about the things that happened to them, so you could be empowered. And if you find a master who tell you, oh no, I'm a master, I'm a dominant, I don't have to share that information with you, you have to take whatever I give you, red flag. Mm -mm -mm. No, that doesn't count. If you're not willing to share, you, that's not good. That means in the whole relationship, she will be hiding everything from you. So that is important. Uh, masters, don't think that you are entitled not to share your information who is important to the submissive, to the slave that you may uh, want, that you want to have a relationship with. Any slave submissives, yes, you have the right to ask. And, uh, and if they don't want to share, red flag, move on, don't get there. So why all this baggage conversation is so important? First of all, it gave you information about who we're dealing with. It create a better understanding. Then when I have a situation, I may understand why my counterpart, my partner, my slave, my submissive is reacting the way he reacted. Or I may say, I cannot do this 
because I know he or she had this experience and I cannot put in that situation that is going uh, uh, to trick. Um, also, it, 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 it helps you to, to deal with those issues. Sometimes, um, it might have, let me put it this way, in my definition of master, we are teachers, we are coach, we are counselors, we are advisors, we, we are a person who tries to help our submissive. So if they still have unsolved issues, we can help and we should help in any way we can according to our abilities. Some of these issues may have to go to therapy and we are not the, 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 the person indicated to help. But a good master could help uh, a slave with issues of abuse, of abandonment, of family uh, issues, etc. cetera. Uh, but he has to know. He has to know. That is very important to understand each other. And in and, and, and the beginning, the importance of the beginning is that then also you can tell if you can start a relationship with somebody who has particular issues or particular experiences that you can or cannot deal with it. So it, it helps on, on, on that. The more information that you reveal to each other, the best chances that you have to start and to keep a good relationship. That is what is important about the baggage. That little thing that we carry with us all our lives, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So this is the message for today. Uh, please keep in touch. Uh, make sure to make comments, uh, ask me questions about it. You may also suggest topics that you want me to address. And don't forget to subscribe and feel free to find me and reach out to me through my email who is in the description of the channel or through fed live or facebook in both i'm under master taino feel free to ask me questions and anything i could do to to help uh with ideas let me let me know we are here so see you in the next one uh and keep yourself safe